Hello and good morning children. This morning I'm going to be teaching you how to subtract two two digit numbers. Obviously I'm not in the classroom, I'm actually in my dining room. So I'm going to be using my son's glow pad as the whiteboard, some number cards and then my secret ingredient for maths is this box which is full of Lego. Lego is brilliant children for making all sorts of creations but today we're not using Lego for building instead we're going to be using it to help us count in twos so we're going to start off with zero and then we're going to count up in steps of two using little bricks ready? zero two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18, 20, and now we're going to count back in twos, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Now children, I'm going to start off with my number cards, 0, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And these are going to help me generate my two digit numbers. So while my son's playing, making his rocket, I'm just going to remind ourselves of all the different ways we can make ten. So if we haven't got a ten stick, we can use our fingers to help us remind us. So we've got ten and zero. 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, 5 and 5, 4 and 6, 3 and 7, 8 and 2, 9 and 1 and 10 and 0. Next children, I'm going to have a go at solving this practically. So the first thing I need to do is make my 7 tens. So I've got a 10 stick here, but I haven't always got a 10 stick with my Lego, so I'm going to look at different ways of making it. So here, I've got 8 and 2, I've got 6 and 4, I've got another 6 and 4, now this is a tricky one, I've got 4, add 4, which is 8, and then add the 2 makes the 10, then I've also got another 6 and 4, so let's see where we're at, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so I've got one 10 left to make, so I'm going to use a 4, a 4, which is 8, add the 2, which is 10, and then I've got a 3 and a 2, which makes my 75. Let's double check that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what I need to do is subtract my 32. So I'm going to start with my two ones. One, two, and now I'm going to subtract my three tens. Ten, twenty, thirty. What am I left with? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. I've had a go at solving that practically. If I'm feeling confident, I'm now going to have a go at solving it pictorially. So my first number is my seventy-five. So I've got seven tens and five ones. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm going to draw my five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Now I need to subtract my 32. So I've got three tens and two ones. So I'm going to start with my ones. One, two, and then my three tens. 10, 20, 30. What am I left with? Let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Ta-da! I'm sure you're all doing brilliantly now, children. So if you've had a go pictorially and practically, then why not have a go using the written method? So simple steps. First of all, remind yourself of your tens and ones. Your first number is 70, seven tens, and then five, five ones. We're going to be subtracting from that 32. So let's look at our ones column. We've got five ones, subtract two ones, 
5 subtract 2 is 3 and then we've got 7 tens subtract 3 tens 70 60 50 40 4 tens remaining the final answer 43 so children that's just one way that you can be doing maths at home and then as a treat once you've finished why not have a go at doing some building